All right, hi. Section three, dynamic braking control. Um, locomotive control, electric motor, diesel, the GP35 static control. All right, the dynamic braking control. The dynamic braking traction motor reconnected the separately excited generated wheels are um, connected to series across the main generator. The motor armatures are loaded with a fixed grid resistor. The uh, torque is required with the driver armatures derived from the motion of the track along the ra rail. Um, the armatures are connected with a series of the dynamic brake resistor grids on the ba basic dynamic brake. The two armatures are connected with a series of the two grids. Uh, extended range dynamic braking four armatures are connected with a series of four grids. Um, GP35 uses 86 eight, eight, tenths of a loading resistance per motor. The load requires the motor field to excited with the fuel current. All right, the good ventilation is also required. The excitation system is capable of providing sufficient current of the engine and idle speed. The need for the ventilation requires the engine operator to run five speed during dynamic, dynamic braking. Dynamic braking control um, consists of two main categories: the manual control, with the, which the lo locomotive operator has of, over the amount of the brake used, the automatic armature grunt lid um, limit to protect the armatures and grid from the overload. The operation of the two phases of the control is shown in the detail following the pages. The manual control is explained first. All right, shown in locomotive, the circuit is connected with the dynamic braking selector handle still at B. The position, the se um, sequence of the going through the power brake as follows. The power, um, the throttle is in the return to the idle selected position B position. The state, um, um, shield shot in the battery field. Um, um, drop out in the BR shield front or shield front shield shot terminal. Um, the BR picking up the interpreter's circuit with the series parallel power connectors dropping out of the circuit of the BK is completed with the BK picking up the interpreter's circuit with the power of the power brake contactors BK1 and BK2. The interlock for the BK2 um, closes the complete circuit of the BK, the series of the contactors, series 1323. Um, all right. Here's 13, series 13 transition. Um, the excitation motors one and three and two and four on series twenty four and twenty three. Um uh brake um brake BKL uh, once again like I don't know if I can teach this. The series contact receipts 13 and 23 are closed. The generator residual current flow through the traction motor of the motor armature develops the flow of the dynamic brake grid to the residual current with the minimum connection generator shield front with the reserve across. The auxiliary generator current is limited to resistor circuit with the required for the block generator is residual. The brake will lie on picking up the kinetic connect load regulator arm number three side of the power lo load regulator coil. The 24T wire is now connected with the number three power load regulator. However, the since the throttle switch has not been picked up upon no voltage applied with the 24T wire, the residual generator causes the signal of the T3 applied with the number one side of the power load regulator. The power load regulator contacts move eight and six. No energy is applied with the magnetic and fire drivers. Um, All right, uh, let's do this part right here. The auxiliary generator field motor contacts um, seven and eights on through field motor series one, three, and three of the um, BIOS co coils, the rheostat one, um, and on the first circuit of the auxiliary generator. And then the second circuit, you will find the load regulator on rheostat two, um, road rheostat. Um, the auxiliary negative goes through the back. Um, BR relay shield front transition relay. Um, on the far, um, the farthest relay current, you find the brake control. Um, brake control with a brake throttle switch and a brake selector switch on the far on the outside of the negative term, the farthest, the longest, the largest circuit. Um, the uh, to the trailing units of 24R and the 22 rectifier, um, the BRE gated relay to the power lo load regulator contacts one through three, and power road regulator um, you have rheostat six, seven, and three, and CR and terminal three transistor uh, marked off with rectifiers. Also on your driver coils, field man manual on the third and coil from the auxiliary field third parallel circuit from the third auxiliary generator. Field motor one, two, and three, and on parallel on currents eleven through three. 
Um, the DBR and the power, power load regulator are also on this circuit. Um, and that should do the bottom circuit. Alright, um, this one shows the alternator going through the back field, battery field, um, battery field, double gated field motors, one th um, rectifiers in through field motors, one, th one through, um, one to three, which is on both power, negative and power, negative power field, battery shield, f um, shunt with reverser rectifier, um, um, closing the deal between the, di the alternator and the image between the, co um, field motor and switch, um, the main generator has different coils on the motor fields, um, winding five, shield front, reversers, shield, shield front transistor, shield front transistor, shield front um, trans, tra transistor relay, um, field motors um, one, two, and three, um, open contacts nine and ten, relay, um, that also goes into the first relay of the auxiliary generator. Um, then in a broken relay, you see the back um, battery field auxiliator, um, reversers, reverser, backward field relay, real relay, um, resistor, real stator, um, rectifier, um, diode, uh, and series 24 and series 13 on the back level and BKL um, series. All right, figure 32 shows the throttle move with the idle position um, position corresponding with the run one power of the T1, T2, energy of the BFA and the SFA, P S shield front, pick shield shunt, shield, um, shield field, shield, 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 shield field, shunt field has been picked up, the shunt field picking up the drop of the ORS, causing the load regulator to move the maximum field position, shunt field, no other function exemption but the BFA will slip with the ride of dynamic brakes. This shows the control and the fuel pump switch with the brake front throttle switch going through the BFA and the shield front um, line um, with current. The B BFA um, B battery field, um, however, the picking up of the negative magnetic load winding of the D14 alternator would result in 1.5 amperes minimum battery field concern. Um, Remination of the conjunction of figure 1 6 exhaustion section of the handbook set, uh, since the basis coils are still excited with 135 to 160 amperes. Alright, um, I don't think the drain, like, this has changed, let's just, like, alright, the drawing does not change, um, maybe it does, in the minimum brake position, um, but we went over it once, so I'll just keep that in mind. If I'll, ha I'll go over it like whenever we talk, whenever every page. When I amp for the battery field, current contract buck, bucking current with the shunt field. The current is sufficient to hold armature with minimum of 200 amperes of top speed. The load regulator is maximum field position, but the 24T wire is still at zero potential. The power load regulator contact still is eight and six. The magnetic amplifier drive coils are not energized at this point. The 10 and nine compensation coils are stable. Stability control compensating for the current with change of the generator field. Like I said, generator field one and two, um, one, two, main generator, you have your diode, your auxiliary generator, um, talking about how the grids go off, like, um, two grids for two motors, four for four, and, um, not overloading the circuits, the operator has advanced the brake handle circuit is sufficient with the cause of the 10 volt potential with the T24T train line. Which is the train line units over here with the brake throttle on the switch, and um, which we're on. The 10 volts amp with the dynamic braking zener, 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 um, zener does not conduct the 25, 24, 5 volts supply, but the current flow with the zener resistor, the resulting in the voltage of the number three terminal of the power load regulator can coil with a value of less than 10 volts. So the um, function of the di zero zener diode prov provides a software application dynamic brakes and brake throttle handle to move slightly. This allows the train under the conditions of the train weight and track grade to maintain the desired high track speed within the dynamic braking. All right, so there's your diode in between the the 24T wire. Well, the signal of the 24T wire is higher than feedback applied with the number one terminal. Um, number one terminal over here by the power load regulator. Um, uh, applied with the number one terminal power load regulator contacts and the eight and two of the um, contacts. Um, so also through this power regulator, power regulator, um, you have your eight and nine contact relays going through in the Break or is BR. 
Uh, I mean, that might be a diode. Um, traction motor field current increase the field back increase the high voltage high and enough that the AT contact power load regulator open the eight two contacts oscillate between open and close regulating motor field the strength. All right, so the regulator field motors one, two, and three in shunt, and also the f are getting regulated. See the accelerator, the regulators, um, the, re the reluctors re are regulating field motors one, two, and three. Um, the result of less voltage across the number four grid resist the um, dynamic braking re relay um, operating valve. The dynamic braking relay not operating except with the regulator with 700 amperes through the grids. The dynamic brake relay contains eight to two closes, eight closed and two, eight to two closed reaction taking place in the shunt field circuits will be de dealt with later. Um, after making sure all the train slack is bunched, operators should condition figure three fours move the control handle slowly, maximum brake position. This results in 50 volts applied with the number three terminal brake load relay coil. The battery field of the current increases the potential proportional until the motor field excitation reaches the level of the resulting 700 amperes current. So we're over here on the um, brake load regulator eight and three. Uh, eight and three field motor regulator um, first con to the auxiliary generator. Um, to the right of the first parallel connection on um, the auxiliary regulator from the power regulator um, coil. All right, 700 amperes current result with a voltage of 3 to 310 plus or minus 5 across the one of the resistors in number 4 grid, which this voltage drop the dynamic braking re um, relay circuit of the RH10 is properly adjusted with 50 volts applied with the zero arrow di um, diode. Trying to find Rheostat 10. Rheostat 10 is here on the series, um, which shows the uh, dynamic braking relay switch and the zero, the rectifier and uh, diodes. All right, the Zeno Z1 constructed with the maintaining 50 volt drop across the diode. This was begin with the conducting 50 volts with apply the Z1 to current conducts current flow through the dynamic braking regulation. The dynamic brake regulating coil from four to five at about 100 milliamperes. Um, the dynamic braking regulator uh, regulation regulator contacts eight and two open energized to remove the magnetic amplifier driver coils, battery field excitation, decays, and braking current drops. When the braking current drops below 700 amp amperes, less than 50 volts is applied with the zero one Z1 blocks Z1 Z1 and Z1 blocks dynamic braking regula regulator contacts eight and two, which is over here power leg power leg power leg rated dynamic brake regulating eight and two. Um, And your Z1 diodes on this circuit for the um, before it goes into the um, to the series 1324 um, of your traction motors, which are called the grids. Just like the series 24, series 13, and the dynamic braking rigging circuit um, as a grid. Um, The condenser of the dynamic braking regulator capacitor capac circuit provides anticipation of smoother voltage peak, resulting in smoother operating. Regulator. Um, this shows the braking um, regulator um, braking system uh, motor for series um, for series. Uh, the brake regulator, the relay, and the brake re um, brake warning relay will pick up the braking of the current relay, exhausting 350. Uh, 350 volts plus or minus across the number two terminal and three of the braking resistor grid. The brake wheel relay picks up the circuit of the back brake field, uh, battery field uh, accelerator interpreted the battery field accelerator contact drop that removes the excitation main generator battery field causing the reduction in brake current. The E and F contact the brake field accelerator, um, battery field accelerator, um, Close the insert of the RE sixty one A of the back brake reel relay. This the recalibrates the back reel relay to not two hundred ninety volts plus or minus ten volts. The voltage across the number two the number three terminal of the grid. Number four brake current with less than seven hundred amperes. The brake field and the energies picks up the energized battery field and simple and mod body mod mod modulation battery field current for the reaction taking place. And shown explain the following text.
Hey, here's your brake wheel relay um, on the line from the auxiliary generator, which is like switches off and on to protect the overloading of the uh, excitation motors during the speeding and uh, speed acceleration and deceleration. Uh, modul mo modulation of the battery field current occurs normally under the four condition power po po power load regulator dynamic braking relay power brake wheel relay wheel slipping action each of these conditions cause the change excitation main generator battery field assuming the, the power regulator dynamic braking and the brake field accelerator contacts contact the having open to decrease the battery field excitation good portion of the D14 alternator zero is voltages impressed upon the battery field the current begins with the um, flow of the battery field um Back voltage is built up in the battery field, the transformer action shunt field as well. The belt polarity introduced the voltage and is shown picket three six. The arrowheads are in circuit involved. Um, as you can see, uh, um, the voltage included with the shunt field curve is the current current with the train the field third th um third reactor to winding 10 and 9 with the current opposed with the um, current 11 12 drive closed increase the impedance reactor this course limits the flow of the current battery field with the stabilizer system rap response rapid to the battery field field current the compensating effect weaker of the driver signal net result with the building up of the current battery the build up of the current battery field through the motor field of the motor armature slow with the reactor compensating the winding Figure three seven. The assuming that the, the either the polar regulator, or the dynamic braking relay, or the battery field accelerator contacts have been opened and decreased the battery field excitation current. The compensation effect shown in Figure three takes place by additional action that occurs to ensure stable regulation of the dynamic braking current is seven hundred amp amperes. Um, a normal armature central ride with voltage drop across number two and number three terminals. Grid number four is all right. The bridge, rising voltage of the capacitor connected with the parallel RE69 and D1 is the change of current together with the resistor current with the result with the parameter highly dynamic braking coil relay current coil current the dynamic braking relay pick up of the system overshot with the interrupting current with the magnetic amplified driver coils limiting barrier field as the capacitor has become charged with the charging current, no longer the dynamic braking relay coil with the coil current within dependent upon the zero current, the operating point of the dynamic braking re relay arises to 700 amps. The capacitor becomes charged with the 700 amps. The Z1 contact with the dynamic braking relay will pick up the current with the RE69 and RH10. The anticipation effect together with the compensation result of the dynamic braking re function with little no overshot. This, this effect is taking place of the normal operation during the wheel slip recovery and its accidental mishandling of the um, operator. The anticipation effect. All right. Um, over here you see wheel slip um, number 24 and 13 for the uh, series round and um, and you have your zero diodes going to the dynamic wheel braking relay. Um, Brake wheel relay, relay and dynamic braking relay. And um, this is the, this is your trucks right here, the traction motors. Um, this goes into the switches. Uh, as you can see, this is on the auxiliary generator side of the thing. So, um, um, as you see field motor one, two, and three. Field motor driver coils one, two, and three. Um, short field shield front tran um, terminal uh, or trans transducers re um, gutted in before the main generator um, closed gates uh, during the dynamic braking the CD coil the wheel slip relay the wheel, um, wheel, wheel slip or WS uh, Connected across the traction motor field, but the motor fields have been uh, happy because even the motor field current with the motor main generator voltage being um, high enough to bring it back the pick of the wheel, pick up the wheel slip and the wheel will slip generator the excitation reducing the back barrier field ex exhaustion BFA right here. Um, all right, section four troubleshooting.